Hello and welcome back. I won't say to another video because it's been ages since I've made one. Um, I have decided or thought about vlogging the next few weeks and months just because we're in a little bit of a crisis in the world, not even just here in England. And not that, that it's a nice thing to document, but I thought it might be something to document, particularly for my boys in the future because they hopefully won't remember this and not remember it in like the bad stuff that's going on. They might remember little details, or Tommy will, um, no doubt, but um, hopefully won't remember the really bad stuff that's going on. Um, and it might be nice to show them in the future of what happened, because it is a bit crazy at the moment. So anyway, it's Mother's Day here in the UK, and we've had a nice morning, quite a relaxed morning, and we're just heading over to my mum's, but we're not gonna go and stay. We're just gonna do a little bit of knock a door run, I guess, and leave a little parcel on the, on the door. Um, she knows we're coming so we're just going to pop something on her doorstep, knock on the door and then walk away. We can be, I think it's two metres away from people, um, like for social distancing, um, but with my boys it's a bit difficult, you can't really tell them, keep a distance, they don't understand that. So I've told Tommy he needs... And I don't want to get sick. We don't want to get sick do we Tommy, no. So I've kind of told Tommy a little bit, I'm really sorry about the light and it's um, go going dark. Or get like, Exactly, Tommy. Well done. So I've t I have told Tommy a little bit so that he kind of understands, but it's really difficult for them to understand. And obviously, we don't want to go in Nana's house and we, and no, we don't or get push books into Nana's mouth or into her mouth. In my mouth. Exactly. We don't want to get bugs in anyone's or mouth. Do we? Get sick. He understands more than I think he does. Um, Fraser, who or, is only two, doesn't or understand. We don't get <laughs> That's right, Tommy. So we're heading there now. We're going to leave a little parcel, um, and then we're going to go for a little drive. We might stop for a bit of a walk. It will depend on crowds. Um, yeah, just trying to keep our distance. Keith is still going out to work at the moment. Hopefully, that will stay the same um, because his job is classed as one of the key workers. Um, yes, Tommy. My, my trousers are getting the hot. We know they're, they're a bit old, aren't they? Um, yeah, Keith is classed as a key worker, so his job will hopefully still remain because that's the other issue. A lot of people are losing their jobs and losing businesses and things, so we're kind of very lucky in that respect. Um, but it does mean Keith's got to go out there and risk getting the virus, um, but more so risk passing it on. Um, hopefully, he won't, if he does get poorly, he won't get very poorly because it's affecting those that are older and those who have got underlining conditions. Our mum and her husband both have underlining conditions. Um, so obviously we don't want to make them poorly. So that's what we're doing today. And I will try my best to document the next few weeks. And we will try and focus on the positives because there are actually a lot of positives to be seen. Um, learning new things and not concentrating on what's what we don't have but concentrating on what we, what we do have um, and we do have a lot so I'll catch you later bye so we've gone somewhere that we were planning to go but it was absolutely heaving um, no, obviously people haven't got the memo to stay away from other people so we've come somewhere else now at Nature Reserve. It is busier than it was last time we were here but it's a lot quieter so hopefully we can keep our distance from people because we want to. Not everyone else seems to be taking it seriously but we do want to keep away so we just stopped for a little snack and by this little pond and wonder and get some fresh air.
Say bye to the snails. So it's Monday morning. It's the first day of homeschooling. Um, obviously Tommy is preschool, so we won't be doing anything too official. Yeah, we're going to school now. So it's nine o'clock and I'm planning to do a little bit of exercise now. The morning's gone quite well, but as you can tell, certain people are starting to get a bit frustrated. What's the matter? I think he's confused because we haven't left the house yet, even though he hates leaving the house um, to do the school run. Um, yeah. It's going to be confusing for them. So we're just going to make the best of it. Um, obviously... I've got to tidy up mess before we can get on with things, but we're going to try and do a little bit of exercise now. Fraser, are you going to do it? Fraser, do it! Go on then! You want me to do it with you? Yeah. Okay. What are you going to do? Just waving. You wave. What are you going to do? Out there. Oh, you have to get down. Can you face it like this? Can you do it? Or are you going to get up again? What are you going to do now? Out with that 20s. This? Mm. Let's do it. Tommy's practicing his name. That's it. What's that? Is that the year? Is it? Yeah. Okay. I think you write your name again. Starting with T. Okay. Um, we've just done some school work. The school sent Tommy home with a booklet with some words um, for each, or letters for each day. So he's just done that, and now he's practicing his name. And I've got Fraser on the couch. He's got the iPads. Um, I downloaded a game. Okay. At the uh, at the end, but remember leave a gap to go up, down, round, and then a kick at the bottom. That's almost right, Tommy. Well done. Is that right? Pretty much, yeah. Well done. Um, yeah, it was difficult to talk with Fraser. He just wanted my full That's attention, nice. and I needed to give Tommy some attention. So I put in that. I downloaded a game, and somehow he's got into videos. So I'm not sure. It must be part of the game that there's some videos. Um, but he's happy. Not that I want him to be on the iPad all day or anything, but I just needed to give Tommy like half an hour. Um, I'm gonna, like I've said before, I'm gonna be totally flexible on timings and stuff. And um, we did some crafts before, we had snack, and yeah, it's all a bit topsy turvy, but that is totally fine. Um, just want to kind of keep the routine the same, but it's thrown Fraser off quite a lot today. Um, Tommy being here and just not taking him to school and stuff. So I need to get a bit more prepared with Fraser, but he will not sit and do drawing, like two minutes, if that, probably not even two minutes. And so I need to have... When well some done. bad guys in the river. Well done. So I need to have some activities, like maybe the train track out for Fraser, but then try and draw Tommy away from the train track, which is the difficulty. And I go to we'll get there, won't we? some leather wings. Good morning, I think it's still morning. Um, I think it's Tuesday morning, I'm losing track of time. I'm on day two of doing a little bit of homeschooling with Tommy and today has gone far better. I've managed to get all his schoolwork over and done with in the morning. So we're kind of free to do what we want later on. I'm trying to take a very relaxed approach to it because his preschool, he doesn't even have to go to school but they have sent some work home with him and said they would like him to do like letters, numbers and reading every day. 
so I'm gonna, I'm going to try and stick to that as much as possible but I'm going to take a little bit of a relaxed approach to it because he is four and it's a stressful time for all of us and I think they can feel it if we are getting stressed and I'm trying to be as relaxed as possible about everything. You'll have to excuse this. This is going to be permanent for a while. <laughs> I did makeup yesterday, or I did a very small amount of makeup yesterday. But I don't tend to wear makeup at home. It irritates my, particularly my eyes. And if I'm going to be here with two kids on my own all day, every day, then I don't need to be irritated any more than I probably already will be. I'll come and get him in a minute. So I've put them outside for a few minutes. Um, I can hear everything that's going on because I've got the back door open. I'm gonna try and do a quick tidy up. Um, I'm also trying to keep to a schedule with my cleaning because I've really, really struggled to keep on top of that. I hate doing it, so I've got no motivation to do it other than I like a clean and tidy home. Um, so I've put them in the garden so that I can do a quick tidy and clean and prepare lunch. And then we've got the afternoon free to do what we want. Um, one thing I do want to say is I do want to keep these videos quite light-hearted and just document what we're getting up to day to day. Um, hello Fraser, thank you. And yes, I will have to mention things that are happening, but that's not what I'm trying to document. I'm just trying to document our days and the fact that we've got to be home a lot and what we get up to and the spring that we spent at home, if that makes any sense. Um, but of course it will be mentioned things that are happening because it is affecting every single part of my life and everyone else's lives so it's impossible not to talk about it but I am aware that it's consuming everyone's lives so much that you don't always want to hear about it so that is not what I want this about um, I'm actually finding some positives out of it um, it's scary it's scary as hell um, I, my anxiety has kind of gone up and down a lot, but there are so many positives to be found. The fact that I can stay home with my boys, the fact that I am allowed to stay home with them and I'm not having to send them to um, childcare because I'm a key worker. Um, Keith is, but I'm not obviously being at home, so I can keep them home. That's a positive just in itself. Um, it's a really scary time. A lot of my family members have been affected by it because they are key workers, so they're having to go out and deal with people, deal with people who might be poorly, and that's scary as well. But let's look at the positives, what we can control. Um, and the sun is shining. It's meant to go up to 16 or 17 degrees today, which is amazing. Um, I'm going to enjoy the garden this afternoon. Um, our neighbor is cutting the grass, if you can hear that. I'm not sure I'm brave enough to get the lawnmower out with the boys around, but we'll see. I might even do that because it could do with a bit of a cut. And we've actually bought the boys a trampoline. Um, if you know me well enough, you'll know that I like to stick to budgets and we are on a tight budget. But we were given two vouchers at Christmas, one for us, one for the boys. And I decided that actually we would give our voucher to putting it towards getting the trampoline. So the trampoline actually hasn't cost us anything. So we've got that that's in the garage, Keith needs to put that up later. And um, that'll be really good to keep the boys entertained and like let them burn off some energy because we are on lockdown now, which means no going out. We're allowed to go out once a day for some exercise, but I'm probably not going to do that because uh, it's too much effort to go to somewhere where there's no people where we live. And me on my own with two boys who like to run off and explore it just isn't worth the risk. So we will be staying home. Keith is going to work every day, but we will stay home. So that will help them burn some energy off. And I also purchased Disney Plus because, well, one, it'd be good to keep them entertained. Um, just have, you know, a bit of a chilled afternoon sometimes, particularly if the weather's not good. But we were meant to go away at the end of April. That's not happening, so I thought it would be nice to treat us to, to that. And there's some films on there that I want to watch, so it's a treat for me as well. So I guess the boys were hungry. Fraser has been in the pantry and helped himself to the biscuits. There were some custard creams in there. They've eaten them all. I better get on with their lunch, haven't I? This weather we're having is a welcome relief in our current situation. It's nice for her to get out and it not actually be that cold. Uh, 
so since we're going to have the boys home a lot more at the moment, we need to do a few jobs in the garden. We need to do them anyway, but this is going to give us a push to do them. This um, box has come from the top of the garden. It was being used, but Keith's put it down so I can put some of the boys' toys in, but it needs a good clean. Um, I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but it's quite dirty down the side. And then inside it's filthy so i'm going to get the hose out and give that a bit of a clean right. whoa tommy and, and, it, and it has a crack it has got a crack we need to fix it but what we can do is we can give it a bit of a wash out with the hose i might have to get some um cleaning product give it a really good clean but we can get it a bit cleaner can't we yeah yeah so we can put your toys in there by the way fraser's asleep inside um i'm realizing this garden's very overlooked so people can see me from the kitchens that I'm filming myself so it's a little bit embarrassing but to sleep there so hopefully you can hear me i'm gonna whisper um we are working on some things in the living room um i don't know if anyone remembers there used to be a computer desk here the wooden one this cupboard was on the other side of the room but we've got rid of the computer desk that's been sold and we've put a cupboard in the middle and we're going to box the, this all in so that's there ready to be done we're going to paint this room as well that chair needs selling unfortunately we didn't sell it before we've gone on lockdown so it's gonna to have to stay there now I, yeah nowhere else to put it this is a new table it needs to be moved back they've got I've got a box and computer behind it at the moment um, and then I was gonna do a little play corner in this corner so the kitchen and then gonna get a ikea calyx unit for some toys to go on so the boys had like a surface to play on although they do have a table and chairs that have been sat there so i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm gonna do Lay down, Tommy. Lay down. Tommy, they're laying down now. He's laying down, isn't he? Stretch up. That's it.
Faye says say goodbye. I will miss you, Faye. I miss you. Okay. Yeah, I know. Bye. 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 Right, that's it. Gone. Bye. Right, time to get dressed and then get on with some schoolwork or crafts first. Schoolwork. You sure? Mm -hmm. Do schoolwork quickly and then we can do some crafts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. I know you do, sweetheart, but we can see him on the phone, can't we? Yeah. Yeah, good boy. I'm not actually sure what day it is. Wednesday or Thursday. Whichever day it is. I got cut off yesterday because um, my phone was ringing. It was my family calling, um, video chat. So I got cut off and I didn't come back to you um, to show you what I was showing you in the living room or dining area of the living room. So I thought I'd show you now, but I've already moved things. So I was just saying that we had the table kind of next to the window, in front of the window, pushed back. And I was planning to do a little play area in the corner. Um, hasn't been done yet because of various things. But anyway, I've decided to move it around just to see how I like it. So I'll show you. Um, so I've moved the table into that corner. Obviously the desk chair is not gonna stay there, um, but we can't sell it at the moment because we're all on lockdown. It was, even if someone would come and pick it up, I don't really want to do that. I don't wanna risk anything, us infecting anyone else and vice versa. So it actually fits better that way because the chair can kind of sit underneath and while Keith's not here, I can sit at the table with the boys. Um, I don't plan to have two tablecloths on. We've been doing crafts this morning. So it actually fits really well there. And then I've got the play area kind of in the middle, but there's a lot of floor space now. And I'm just thinking while I'm doing school work with Tommy Fraser might play. Um, not too sure. I am planning to get a Calyx unit, but that's with someone else that they are selling it. And again, I shouldn't really go and pick it up. And they are, you little monkey. Oi, no, no. How can you argue? No, 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 no. No more. Hey, no, no, one each, that's it. Give me that, go away. You're lucky to get that. Go on, I'm making lunch now. Oh, what is it? Spider. A spider, no, it's a little fly. Right, go on. No, 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 that's enough. I'm making lunch now. Go on, outside. I can't even say that's Tommy being a bad influence on Fraser because Tommy's never done that. Fraser's a bad influence. <laughs> anyway, one biscuit. Hopefully it doesn't ruin their lunch. It probably won't. They love their lunch. Um, anyway, well, as I was saying, I've put their play stuff here. I am getting the Calyx unit and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the table. The table actually fits beside the sofa. We were, we were using it as a, like a little um, side table for putting your drink on, but we can only fit one chair underneath it. So I'm not, gonna, I'm not sure what to do with it because they actually never use the table and chairs unless I put it in the middle of the living room so they can have their dinner or lunch while watching TV. Other than that, they don't use it. But yeah, what do you think? Um, I'll just shut the door so you can see. Obviously without the two tablecloths. I think it works quite well. I'm not sure that I'd want it like this forever, but at the moment we're home full time. Two kids and I can hear them in the kitchen again. No, out, out. Go on outside. Lunch is nearly ready. Yes, I'm home full time with the kids. I need to ha have space for them to play because yes, they've got the garden, but on days when it's raining, we need floor space. And this is our only space in the house. Yes, they have their bedroom, but we never really go up there. So we need some space. And then I've got, go on outside. All Tommy's kind of school stuff here. There's some workbooks there and here is stuff that school have sent us. There's some reading books and then these flashcards. And then I've got all the craft stuff in here. I'm really pleased how this is all turned out. I managed to organize it without buying any more storage boxes, which I didn't think I was gonna be able to do. But I have just about managed it by switching things around and moving stuff, yep. The boys are in the living room watching a little bit of television and I'm just making dinner, but I'm gonna make a massive pot of um, bolognese sauce. I'm usually make my own. 
and I like put loads of vegetables in there and blend it all up so that the boys don't know the vegetables are in there. They are getting better with eating the veggies, but this way I definitely get vegetables in them and kids and I eat them as well, obviously. Um, and I generally make a massive batch, but I'm going to, I want to make a big batch so that I'm using the fresh stuff that I've got in the fridge, just in case for some reason we can't get any next time we need to shop. I want to use everything up, but make extra so we've got stuff in the freezer. So I'm making a massive batch of that, so I'll show you that at the moment. Um, it's got spinach, um, chopped tomatoes, passata, onion, peppers, mushrooms, carrot, and a bit of spinach in there. And some herbs. So that's more than I need today. Um, I should really just split that in half. I'm gonna make a big bolognese and then freeze half of that. So that's the plan anyway. Um, so that I've got bolognese in the freezer already made up. And then we can have it as spaghetti bolognese or I can turn it into a chili. Again, just sort of like meals in the freezer. I've got already three or four meals in the freezer so that if for some reason we can't get fresh stuff, then we've got some decent meals ready to eat. Um, hopefully it'll be fine. They are saying there's plenty of food and there shouldn't be an issue and people are getting food. There's certain things that are really difficult to get hold of though. Um, so we'll see. But I've swatted meals in the freezer and I've got the slow cooker on. I'm going to do a soup. It is probably the wrong kind of weather for soup but it uses up the vegetables and some potatoes. So I've bought a butternut squash and I had carrots and potatoes in the fridge already. So I've used those. I'm going to make a but a squash soup and I've used um, some chicken broth that I had in the freezer so I need to use that up as well because I've, I've made the chicken broth by um, boiling down the bones and I just need to use it because in the freezer I've got about four lots in the freezer maybe three now so I just wanted to use that and that's really good for you as well so obviously help boost our immune system which I'm trying to do at the moment I've used loads of garlic in the pasta sauce as well on this sauce because that's meant to be really good for you as well so I've done that just hopefully boost our immune system. So that's what's happening at the moment. I'm gonna do the dishes because it has kind of got a little bit out of control. Didn't manage, no, I didn't manage to do breakfast dishes today or the lunch ones. So I'm gonna do them now. It is 3.30. Keith has actually changed his hours for work. So he's now working seven till four. Normally it's eight till five. Um, but they want to try and help them avoid the public as much as possible so he's out early and home earlier so i didn't really see him this much this morning the boys didn't see him he'd already gone he was in the van actually waiting to leave waiting to get his call for where they wanted him to go to first and the boys were up but they obviously didn't see him because he was already outside um so they haven't seen him but they should be able to see him a bit more tonight and hopefully we'll get the trampoline up tonight because I'll be home earlier so I'm expecting home anytime from four o'clock so it's past Tommy's bedtime but you're gonna stay up late tonight aren't you Tommy yeah. and what we've got there yeah. what is it Watch it's a new game isn't it so I've been getting Tommy a few new bits so that over the next few weeks when we're home I can produce something <laughs> just if he gets bored or something okay. so tonight this toy's bit we're funny. gonna play this game I got it from it's from Mecca. Um I'm trying to think if that's home bargains or, or B&M bargains, I can't remember. But it's um, similar to, I don't know if it's, this is the official one or if there's one that's May. similar to this. But it's been around for a long time, this type of game. So we're going to have fun with this, this aren't we? This is really, really weird. It's really weird, is it? Yeah. Have some fun with this, yeah? You get to stay up late after, that, after Tommy. No, you are Tommy. After Fraser. Yeah. Where's Fraser? You going to bed? Yeah, he's yeah. in bed. Should we get it set up then? Yeah. Right. So you're going to do one of these faces or are you just going to do your own face? I want to do my... I want to do his face. You're just going to do whatever? Yeah. Ready? You have to put it on, you have to turn it on, and then you've got a timer. You've got 10 seconds to do it, okay? Okay. How are we going to do it? You can put this on and then you have to put all the face bits on. You ready? Da, da, da. You do it then, you put it on. Go. Hi, Ali! Did you do it? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> do you think off? Yeah. They're sticking to your fingers, don't they?
Not to move over that time, you won't see that. Whoa! Oh no. Is that fun? You have to turn it off. Then push it all the way back. Daddy. Go. Hey, look. Go on. Oh. <laughs> hey. You can do it. <laughs> It's all coming up. It's gonna go. Ah. Too late. It's too late. Ah. Who's in here? Hello. Ah. Where are you gone? Where's Fraser gone? Where's Fraser gone? Big moo! <laughs> Hello! Oh! You're so good at cheering people, Tommy. Aren't you? Yeah. You're really good at cheering people. Yeah. Well, Fraser bounced. He was bouncing, wasn't he? Yeah. And I clap in my head. No, no, Fraser. My turn. Right, Fraser, you're going to get off and let Tommy have a turn? No. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, he doesn't understand that, Tommy. Fraser? You want to do it with Fraser on? Yeah. Okay. And, and, and we will do it with you. I'm not getting on with you, no. <laughs> we'll be too heavy if we all get on. We will do it together. You be careful, okay? And we will hold hands together and we will bounce with you. Or will you now? Yeah. Just be careful with him, Tommy. <laughs> right, are you going to bounce? And I'm going to go and put the laundry away, okay? Around the city. Tommy, are you listening? 
Are well, you listening? I'm going to go and put the washing in the basket, okay? Okay. All right, you be careful on there. Okay? okay. You all right? Yeah. Don't bounce on the sides, okay? Just on the middle. I've been making some cinnamon swirls. Um, I started this morning, it's now the afternoon. I made them in the bread maker, but it was a bit of a faff because it didn't seem to have enough flour, but they turned out all right in the end, I think. There's a lot in there. Possibly didn't make them deep enough, I'm not too sure. We'll see how they are, and they are actually dairy free as well. I've used dairy free spread and milk to make them. And I'm just gonna make some glaze now. And this is what I've got to contend with constantly having kids at home all the time. Tommy's taking his clothes off and he's got my jumper on. They've demolished half the sofa so taking all the cushions off that side. The only reason why they haven't touched this side is because I was sat here otherwise they would have done and they've calmed down now so they're not doing that anymore but yeah it's a mess. That's the cardboard box they were playing with before. There. Um, obviously it's now flattened so they won't be playing with that again I think Fraser might fall asleep any minute now Turn me on. it's a bit late for him to sleep but I didn't take him for a walk today I've been going for a little walk to get him to go to sleep I didn't today he seemed totally fine but he's getting very settled I think if I go in, when I go in next I'll probably be asleep which is not the best, but Keith's at home tomorrow. Keith's actually at work this morning. Um, hopefully he's home soon, because it's like 2.30 now, and he did tell me it wasn't a full day of work. So hopefully he's home soon, but he's working today. Um, it's Saturday, and then tomorrow he's at home. Um, so, and we've got nowhere to go, obviously, because we're on lockdown. Um, but hopefully he doesn't sleep for too long, cause It'll be hard work getting him to go to bed tonight if he does, but he probably does need a little nap. Anyway, we'll see how he does. I'm going to finish off these cinnamon swirls and enjoy one of those to keep me going this afternoon. I don't know if this is coming up on camera, but it is actually snowing this morning. It's the start of British summer time today and we get snow. It's just crazy because we had 17 degrees earlier in the week. No idea what temperature it is today. Springtime. What? No, it's springtime, but it's the start of British summer time. Oh, as in the time. <laughs> but yes, it is now spring. Oh, yeah, you can see now it's starting to come down thicker. <laughs> oh. That's just crazy. Welcome to British weather. Hi, it's now Monday morning, or Monday afternoon actually, and I'd forgotten to end the video, so I'm just gonna do that now and say thank you for watching. And I just wanna say that I really hope that you are all well, um, whatever situation you're in, whether you're having to go out to work or working from home, got kids to look after whatever situation you are in I hope you are well and safe and in the best situation possible um, it's, it is a troubled time but there are some things that are positive that, that are going to come out of this I'm sure of it um, it would be lovely that we weren't dealing with all of this but there are positives to take from it like I am really enjoying going back to basics in life and kind of just stripping out everything else that really isn't important. Um, I'm just taking it back to basics. So, hope you are well and stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.